Hello, and welcome to the rightcome.com podcast, where we help you to make money from your words. Each episode, we'll be sharing tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to make more money from your writing, publishing, and marketing to your fans and audience. Let's get started with your host, Barry J. McDonald. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode from rightcom.com. And today's podcast episode is entitled, The More I See, The More I Like. Now, at the moment, I am reading a really great book by Jonah Berger. It's called The Invisible Influence. What I like about this book and books of its kind are that they kind of peel back the curtain on how we are invisibly influenced by certain things. You know, how colours make us do a certain thing, how the layout of a building makes us do a certain thing, the way we kind of look at everyone else to see what they are working at or what they are thinking, and we follow along with the herd. And a lot of the times, unfortunately, we can see other people, how they are being influenced. We can see why that lady bought that dress. We can see why that man bought that car. We can see why these people took that actions because they were looking at everybody else. And we kind of look at them and say, well, look at those people. They're just sheep following the herd. And yet we can see it going on in our own lives. You know, so a lot of us, unfortunately, are being almost pulled along by the nose by either an advertiser or a marketer or some, you know, psychological test that's going on. And we don't even realize that we are being, you know, led along like a sheep. We just assume that we making our own decisions. Now, one of the things that Jonak highlights in his book is that the more times you see something, the more attractive it seems. Now, he was talking about a psychological um, class in a college, and what the professor had done in the class was he had a little bit of a study at the end of the semester that he was going to give extra credits to the students if they took part in it. Now, what he did was he took a collection of both male and female students from the class, and he gave them four pictures to look at. Now, these four pictures were of these four ladies who were all the exact same age as the people in the class. There wasn't anything that really made them stand out from each other. They were all kind of averagely dressed and around the same height and the same you know skin color or whatever but there was nothing really to separate the four ladies and what the professor asked them was to just to study the four photographs have a look at them and come up with how they felt about that person in the photograph did they think the person was friendly was it the type of person that they would like to sit beside in class did they think they could maybe be friends with those people and he got them to kind of rank who they taught from zero up to four which was the most you know person that they would feel most comfortable with. Now, what they didn't realize was that the four ladies in question who were in those pictures had actually sat in on a full semester with the rest of the class. Now, what happened was these ladies would go in a little bit early before the everybody else got in the class. They were already in the classroom and then they would sit in the class. They were usually sitting up near the front and they didn't really, you know, interact with anybody in the classroom. They just had their, their notebooks out and they were taking notes during the class. And then at the end of the class, then these four ladies would get up and make sure that they were probably probably, you know, some of the last people to leave the classroom. And they had done that for a full semester. Now, what he did was that he had found that he, when the results had actually come back from uh, the study, he found that the lady who actually appeared more times or had shown up for more classes in that semester was seen as the most popular one. Now, what happened was the four ladies, in one example, one lady didn't show up to any classes at all. Another lady showed up to five classes. Another one showed up to 10 and another one showed up to 15 classes in the semester. So the lady that had showed up to the 15 classes in the semester was picked out by everybody as being the most attractive, the most friendly, and the type of person that they would like to, you know, share a class with or who seemed, you know, the best of the four. And the only thing that separated those four ladies out was how often everybody had seen them in class. Now, as I said, you know, those ladies that appeared in the study, they didn't interact with anybody in the classroom. They didn't do anything at all to make themselves stand out. So these people had kind of noticed them probably on a subconscious level. They had maybe seen them out of the corner of their eye, but they didn't really stand out in the class. And yet, you know, the lady who was there most times in the classroom, 15 times, she was seen as the most attractive and I want you to think about that. Now, how can you actually do use something like that in your business or how is this relevant to you? 
Well, what you can do is you can use this invisible influence on your readers, on your customers, or on your buyers. And what I mean by how you can use it on them is you can use it by showing up more times in their daily life. And the more often you show up, the more attractive you are going to seem to them, the more trustworthy you are going to seem to them, the more likable you are going to seem to them. You know, if I only did maybe two or three podcasts and I left that at that, and you came to this podcast, listen to those two or three episodes, Episodes. I'm sure you probably could walk away from this podcast and not know too much about me. But if I created a daily podcast episode and you are listening to me all the time, you couldn't help yourself becoming more familiar with me, with me building some trust, some likability, and you may even find me attractive in the long run if you keep listening to this often enough. So what I want you to do is see if there are any way you can, you know, create some more familiarity, make yourself more attractive to your customers, your readers and your buyers by showing up more times in their life. So what I mean by that is showing up more times maybe in social media, maybe creating extra videos on YouTube or making your audience aware of those videos so they can see you, you know, what you look like. Again, don't worry about your parents. If you show up enough times in their life, they will probably find you drop dead gorgeous. But it's up to you to show up as much times as you can to build, you know, familiarity, trust and to build that attractiveness up. And the only way you can do that is by showing up as often as you can. And as I said, that is one of the reasons why I highly recommend people creating daily emails or creating podcast episodes on a daily basis or creating some content and get in front of your audience every single day. Because the more you do that, the more you will stand out and rather than everybody else. Because not everybody else is going to create a daily podcast episode. Not everybody else is going to create a daily email. And they are going to fall way, way behind because they aren't appearing every day in front of those people's lives and not being at the forefront of of their mind. So give that some thought today. Show up as many times as you can to build that attractiveness, that likability and that trustworthy and use that invisible influence on your readers, your buyers and your customers. And as always, if you'd like to reach out to me, you can certainly send an email to barryjmcdonald at gmail.com or if you would like to get into writing and self-publishing, I have got nine great free reports on the homepage. Things like how to, four ways to sell more books from the book map, the, the back matter of your book, how to get book reviews, how to you know write daily emails and all those different things you'll find all those reports on the home page if you're going to go over there and pick them up and as always so thanks for sharing your time again today take care and have a great day bye bye thanks for joining us today if you'd like more from the rightcome.com podcast be sure to subscribe now for more tips tricks and ideas you can use to make more money from your words see you in the next episode